Live from the world's capital markets, here are the latest financial headlines brought to you by BYOB Trading Academy. Hello and welcome to Wednesday's Financial News. Stay with us for more market headlines. The European Commission wants to make it easier for commercial lenders to hold stablecoins and tokenized assets after lawmakers push to discourage crypto holdings as part of a wider banking reform. Alibaba is cutting 7% of the workforce in its cloud computing division as the unit gears up for an initial public offering. This comes after it announced plans in March to split the company into six business units each with their own chief executive and board of directors. Oil prices rose as the expectation of rising US demand during the summer driving season, as well as tight supply conditions, overshadowed US debt ceiling uncertainty. The pound-dollar pair saw a minor dip of 0.1% in the last session. The MACD is giving a negative signal. The Bitcoin dollar pair skyrocketed 1.2% in the last session. The MACD is giving a positive signal. The Aussie dollar pair dropped 0.5% in the last session. The stochastic indicator's negative signal is in line with the overall technical analysis. The dollar-yen pair traded sideways in the last session. The RSI's positive signal is in line with the overall technical analysis. Germany's IFO current assessment will be released at 0800 hours GMT. Japan's foreign bond investment at 2350 GMT. The UK's consumer price index at 0600 hours GMT. The UK's core consumer price index will be released at 0600 hours GMT. The US MBA mortgage applications at 1100 hours GMT. The US EIA crude oil stocks change at 1430 GMT. We hope that you've enjoyed Wednesday's market outlook. On behalf of all of us here, we wish you a productive trading day. Be sure to join us tomorrow morning for the latest news and events from the financial markets.